Hello everyone, welcome back to the Rocks and Change YouTube channel. My name's Fleur Hastings and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful weave called GSG, or to give it its full title, Great Southern Gathering. Now this is part of the Persian weave family um, and it's very closely related to two other weaves called Arkham and Viper Scale. Um, I have got a video on Viper Scale as well, which I will tag um, at the top now. Um, so this is using bare copper. Um, it needs a, an aspect ratio of, of about five, but you can go a little bit bigger, a, a tiny bit smaller, but it gets a little bit tight and it can lock up on you. Um, the jump rings that I've used in this example are 4.5 in the diameter, uh, 4.5 millimeter in a diameter, made on a 0.9 wire, which gives you an aspect ratio of five. And it just gives that really beautiful delicate look but you can wear it every day so what you're going to need to make this bracelet are your trusty pliers um, your chain nose and your um uh, sorry chain nose and your flat nose um, never use your round nose for chain mail um, chain nose and flat nose um I, in the description below, I'll pop a link to um, these pliers that I have for sale on my website. Uh, it's called the Chainmail Starter Kit, and um, where you get two pairs of pliers and a beading mat, which makes it so much easier to, to keep your jump rings in place. Um, so these are my preferred pliers, chain nose and flat nose. But if you've got bent nose, um, then they will work equally as well as well. So the other thing that I tend to use is... Um, a knotting awl or a piece of wire or something that can help you decipher where the next jump ring goes or hold a jump ring out of the way so that you can get the next jump ring in. Um, with this weave, I tend to start this weave from a safety pin. So if you've got a safety pin, you can use that or you can use a piece of wire or something like that just to keep it in place. But I find the safety pin holds it in place. And then once the weave is established, you can then pop the name of the weave on here with a little note saying what jumping sizes you've used, the name of the weave and use it as a starter weave. So if you do like an inch of this weave and then you can just take, take it back to that inch, you've always got a starter weave to help you remember. Um, so, as I said, this is part of the Persian weave. And anything that's part of the Persian weave, we tend to talk about the eye shape, okay? And you can see the eye shape just here where the two jump rings are crossing over, okay? So we've got three gaps in, in essence. So we've got gap number one, gap number two, and gap number three. So we will be talking about going through the eye and around the eye quite a lot with this weave. Now, the way that we're going to start this weave, I find it easier to chain mail away from me. So vertically, but away from me. Most of the time, we're either chain mailing towards us or horizontally. But I find this one is easier when it's going away from you. So the first thing we're going to do is there is only ever two jump rings per row. So um, if you've purchased one of the kits from me for this weave, you'll get the practice jump rings and the safety pin in there um, in different colours. So you'd be able to decipher which rows go in which way. But this first row, we have the right jump ring underneath and the left jump ring on top to create that eye shape. Now with my second row, I'm going to come up through the middle of that eye shape and close my jump ring. So as you just saw, all I did was come up through the middle and I'm gonna let that jump ring sit to the right hand side. Okay. Now this next jump ring is going to go around the eye shape. So my first jump ring went through the eye shape. My second jump ring is going to go around the eye shape. So I'm gonna come up through gap number one, which is the one on my right, over the top of gap number two, which is the eye, and down through gap number three and I'm going to close that jump ring up. Now these, this pair of jump rings we need to point forwards okay so we're going to just push those jump rings forwards so we can now again see that we've got our pair this time though the right hand jump ring is sitting on the top the left hand jump ring is sitting underneath but we still have our eye shape in the middle are three gaps. So I'm going to take my next two jump rings. And again, I'm using alternating colours just so it's easy for you to see. Um, and if you have got my kit, then you will see with those two coloured jump rings as well in there that they're alternating colours. So my next jump ring 
is again going to come up through the eye of where those red jump rings cross over and close and it's always going to sit to the right so it always goes to the right and my second jump ring is going to go around the eye it's going to sit below this one so it's actually going to force it into place so it's going to come up through gap number one down through gap number three and close and you can see that this row is pointing down away from me so I've got gap row number one which is pointing down row number two which we pushed forward and is pointing up row number three is pointing down row number four again we come up through the eye and close so we've got that one in and we go over to the right we could take our next open jump ring push that to the top so it doesn't get towards you so it doesn't get in the way and our next jump ring goes through gap number one down through gap number three and close and remembering that this row point forward again so if I just lay this down you'll be able to see a lot easier so you can see that row number one points down row number two points up row number three points down row number four points up so I'm just going to pick it up so you can see there so down up down up so again we're just going to carry on exactly the same so through the eye of where the new pair are through the eye and close and over to the right and this time with the second jump ring around the eye and close so through the eye and around the eye and that's all you need to remember this pair is pointing down so when I do my next pair it's going to point up you're going to carry on doing that for the whole length of your bracelet so to attach the clasp all I've done is I've taken my a smaller thicker jump ring so in this case it's a 3.75 jump ring made on a 1.25 wire and all I've done is I've gone through the eye on one end and then I've gone through the eye on this end and then just attached another open jump ring just to get that clasp to sit nice and straight and that's that's how I finished this bracelet off but it's an absolutely beautiful bracelet um, and it looks great in two colours or it looks great just in one single colour as this one is. I hope you found this short tutorial um, helpful. If you've got any questions or queries, you can get in contact with me at www.rocksandchains.com um, and fill out the contact form. Or equally, you can find me on social media at Rocks and Chains on Facebook or Fleur underscore Rocks and Chains on Instagram. Feel free to send me a message. I'd love to see the pictures of what you've made as well. Until next time, I will see you very soon. Take care. Bye.